Okay, we're going to talk about how we make uh, one of these, what's called a project in the Divi theme here in WordPress uh, for this client, uh, Legacy International. We, we're creating um, individual product pages that look like this, that have a, a title, have some categories that are sortable. Uh, if I click on uh, any, any one of these, it takes me to that individual page's uh, project. And so the template looks like this. So there's the image. Uh, the text, the copy, we have a little scope, and it goes back to, if you click here, the template is set to go all the way back to this page. So we're going to create the next one here, and uh, the way you do that is you do uh, add new under, under projects. You can select it here, add new, and let's see, the one we're going to build, I think, is going to be this one. Um, and it's going to be called Resort Master Plan Community. And there's a bunch of them that are actually called that. So let's type that in. Master Plan. This is a heading that's used multiple times. And I'm going to copy that in a minute. I'll show you why because we're going to paste it somewhere. So we use the Divi Builder. First thing we do is we load from the library because we have this template that we've already built. It's not under predefined. It's under Add from Library. And it's this one. We're going to keep the box checks to replace anything we already have on the page. It's called Project Template. So we load that, and uh, I'm going to hit Preview. And you'll see this is what's already in the template. So they all look, the template is already kind of pre-built with a sort of dummy photo. And it's, so you can see this is what it's going to look like. So we're going to replace all this content with the content from the PDF. Um, first thing let's do, uh, this first text box up here, I copied that heading because I usually go in here and, and uh, paste it in there. Um, and I think it was already the same one, but that's the first thing I do. Um, so let's copy this text. And I'm going to go into the text mode here to paste it. Um, because it won't, otherwise it'll pull in all the formatting um, that was in uh, the PDF. And I, I don't want to put it in text mode, so I won't get the formatting. So go back to the visual tab. And I'm going to go into full screen mode because what we need to do it, it didn't pull in the formatting, but it did pull in the hard returns. So we need to kind of take a minute and just clean it up and get rid of those hard returns. Do, do, do. And I haven't edited this text, and I'm not going to take a, any, any time I'll look at it. Really, I'll do that later. So we're going to exit the full screen mode. Uh, you can check right here if you want to see, make sure uh, what it looks like. It'll give you a preview, so um, that looks good. We need to go down and edit this content. So we're going to save and, and edit here because that content is actually in the second text box. And what it's going to be is this. It's going to say condominium, townhome, luxury, resort, community. So you can paste it in right here in the visual tab, but it might pull in some formatting, so we'll try it. Um, Oops, I must not have copied it. So copy that and paste it there. And it did pull in the formatting. Not on the spaces, but I'm going to get rid of the bold right there. It's kind of and pull that back there. And then 2,000 units, it was 385. So there. And then we'll check this to make sure in the visible tab. So it looks pretty good. Uh, save that. Okay, we haven't. The only thing we haven't done are the categories and the images. Um, let's go into the categories. I have the categories all listed here. These categories are going to be resort, golf, and lakeside. Um, actually, I think it's resort and multifamily because this is number nineteen. So it'll be uh, there's multifamily category. There's the resort category. And what that's going to do is uh, populate these. So it'll say. Uh, and, and those are dynamic links. So when I click residential, it'll pull in every one of these and create a page, every one of these that has a, a category of residential. Okay, so we have our categories. The image is the last thing, and we've already created our image. Uh, we haven't uploaded it to the library yet. And it is um, number, is that right? Uh, that is the image. So let's actually, we haven't, I guess we haven't saved it to the library. So let's do that. Should be number 19. And um, 
not sure why is that not showing up. Let's call it. We'll call it. We'll call it 19B, so we know it's there. Okay. Select files. There it is. 19B. Uh, and we're going to set that as the image. So that's the main image that's on the page. Um, we hit the view and you can see it is this image that's on the page. But we also have to set this image that's on the main completed projects page, which is a different place. That's called the featured image. So you roll down to the bottom, select the featured image. And we're going to use the same image, but you just have to set it so it'll pull it to different places. So that should be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and publish this one because I think it's ready. Uh, you'll notice that it says plan, uh, Resort Master Plan Community 9. There are eight other pages, apparently, that are using that title. So you can't have it in there more than once. So it'll, it'll just add the dash 9 to the URL. Um, and uh, so let's see what this one looks like. Resort Master Plan Community. And you can see there it is. It added the 9 up in there. Uh, I think all that's correct. I'll probably need to go back and check. So then if I go to the main All Completed Projects page, this should be the first one, and there it is. And you can see there's Resort and Multifamily. So if I click on Resort, resort it creates a page with every... Uh, it builds a page that doesn't really exist, but it's every page that's been categorized with that Resort tag. So you can actually go in and send a link to a client. Um, oh, here's a... You know, check out all our resorts. It'll pull in anything that has that category included.